Hi everybody, it's Chef Christy, and I have a brand new stove! Hooray! And a brand new fridge, which you can't see in this shot. And this is my first time starting a cooking video in my brand new kitchen. So, join me when I'll make some quick Irish soda bread and crank up the new oven for the very first time. So, I thought I would make some quick bread. Uh, because we're under quarantine and lots of people are running out of some supplies so I thought some quick simple bread in my brand new snazzy oven would be just the thing to do so let's go over the ingredients really quickly I've got four cups of flour I'm making mine gluten-free so I've got a combination of rice flour and potato starch and oat flour but you should use cake flour if that's a uh, what you have on hand and then I have a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of salt and 14 ounces of buttermilk and you're gonna say wait I don't have buttermilk I'm under quarantine you can make your own buttermilk you can add a little vinegar to regular milk let it sit and uh, let it clabber a little bit you can add a little sour cream to some milk you can use some heavy cream so it's important to get the acidity so you want to add that little bit of vinegar in because the vinegar and the baking soda makes a chemical reaction and that creates our leaven for our bread to puff up so I'm gonna stop the video for a second because I want to take a still shot photo and then I'm gonna come back and put all this together all right, so now I'm going to get this started and I've got a big mixing bowl and I've got my flour. So I'm going to put all of my flour in my bowl and mix that up because I'm using different flours. So uh, if you are using cake flour, then you can put it through your sifter to get it nice and lump free. Really? Irish soda bread is not that fussy. In fact, one of the things that you have to know about making Irish soda bread is that you can't overwork it. You don't want to get it really, really well mixed because you want it to be what they call ragged when you start to form the, the dough. Now, something I didn't mention is that I've got a quarter of a cup of raisins here and I want to just toss those with a little bit of my flour mixture because a variation on soda bread is called spotted dick. Go ahead, laugh. It's really called spotted dick. And the spots are these raisins or currants. And so what I'm gonna do when I make up my dough is I'm gonna split it in half and make half of a regular soda bread and half of it be spotted dick. So what I wanna do before I mix my buttermilk and my other stuff in there is toss my raisins with some flour so that they stay suspended in the bread and don't fall down to the bottom. So I'm going to put those aside for a second. And now I'm going to add my baking soda and my salt. And I'm going to mix that all up together. And then I'm going to create a well in the middle of my bowl. And this is where the really fancy overhead mirror would come in really handy. You're just going to have to work with me here as I pour the buttermilk into the well and mix it in with my flour just until it comes together because I don't want to overmix. Okay, that's close to being it. I personally think that is not wet enough because I'm using my gluten-free flour. So I'm gonna add a little more buttermilk. About three ounces or so. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to stop right about there. I've got a ragged dough, kind of like biscuit dough. It's very similar to a biscuit, which is also a, a quick bread. Okay, so now what I want to do is split this in half and put some over here with my raisins so that I can make my spotted dip loaf. That just sounds funny, doesn't it? Mix those in. All 
right, and I always wash my hands, but just because we're in hand washing season, I'm gonna do that again. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, you live in a zoo, you look like a monkey and smell like one too. Okay, there we go, 20 seconds with the hand washing and now I have a tray that I've got some oil on and I have an oven one of my two ovens <laughs> heated to 425 degrees. So I'm going to take my first batch of dough and I'm going to very roughly put it all together, kind of keep folding it together here. And I'm going to form a blob, right? can figure out how to make the camera zoom in, we can make more interesting shots happen. Okay, now I'm going to come over here, grab my other dough, form it together, plop it down here. Alright, let me wash my hands again. pictures. I'm going to put this into a 425 degree oven for 10 minutes and then I'm going to turn the oven down to 400 degrees and I'm going to cook it for another 30 minutes. So we'll check back in just a little bit. All right, it's the moment of truth. It's time to slice up our shortbread. So here's our Irish soda bread. My gluten-free version of our Irish soda bread. Let's look at that. Oh, it's still steaming. Oh, we got a pretty good crumb there. All right, that's slice number one of my soda bread. That's looking pretty delicious. And here is the spotted dick version, which has the raisins in it. And remember, I dusted them so that they would stay up in the uh, bread, and sure enough, they did that. And here's that one. That one looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to put a little butter on this one. All right, let's give this a shot. On air, here we go, first time. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that came out really good. I sound surprised because I was using my gluten-free flour. And sometimes, you know, sometimes that's a crapshoot. Mmm, okay. So now, mmm. I need to let that cool all the way down and then I can slice it up and I can use my soda bread for breakfast. I can, you know, put some cold lunch meat on it, put some cream cheese on it, all kinds of things that I can do. My spotted dick obviously will be more of a sweet bread even though it isn't really sweet but the raisins give it a little bit of sweetness. So there you go, I'll post the, the recipe. It's super easy. Don't let the buttermilk, buttermilk throw you. Just put a little vinegar in your milk, add a little bit of extra body with some sour cream if you've got it, or some heavy whipping cream, and uh, let your soda bread do the work for you so that you can enjoy some fresh bread while you're still in quarantine. Thanks everybody. Say hi to my brand new stove, and uh, I'll see you again.